Hi guys, it's Nick Varios and welcome back to Fashion School with Nick Varios. In my last video, we learned how to create your very own flat sketch croquis. And now, we're gonna bump it up and I'm gonna show you how to make a fashion croquis. Okay guys, so in my last video I showed you guys how to make your very own flat sketch croquis. One kind of look like this to create like flat sketches, technical sketches, you know, the garments that look like they're laying on a flat table. But now we're going to do a fashion one. That's a little more three-dimensional. Now what's exciting about this is that a lot of fashion schools don't really teach you this one, how to make it a little more three-dimensional. So this is especially for you guys, okay? Now what will you need? You need a piece of paper, pencil, you also need your ruler, eraser, and a sharpie. So we're gonna start with your piece of paper, eight and a half by eleven is fine, and you're gonna divide it into nine equal heads, remember? And each head represents a certain part of the body. So it's the same instructions that you did for the flat sketch croquis. Okay, so the first thing is you're going to draw a center line right in the middle of the paper. Now in my papers you can see I've already divided it up into the nine heads. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now each head is about an inch and an eighth. That's just a little hair over an inch, okay? That's another Nick trick. Okay, so we know that the first head is the head, <laughs> and the number two is the bust, three is the waist, hips, number four, five right there is thigh, six knees, seven calves, eight is ankle, and number nine is floor. Okay, easy breezy, right? Same, same instructions. So start with the head. All right, so I'm gonna draw the head right there. There's my head. And then the next step is draw the neck. Okay, now this is where we start adding a little bit of fashion and dimension, a little bit of movement, pose, as opposed to like this, okay? So, stick with me. First thing is you're gonna go to the side of your paper right here and measure three inches down, mark it, okay? Take your ruler and draw a line from that three inch mark right through the neck right here, like that. So it's at an angle. And then now do the same, go to number three, the waist, you see right there? And then draw another line, just like that. Okay, so it's like that, it's crisscrossing. Now, stick with me, you'll see what this does. Next thing is you're gonna draw the shoulders. The shoulders are an inch and three quarters wide, all right? So just measure an inch and three quarters, there you go, just like that. Then go down to number three and measure one inch and one eighth right here. Just a little hair over, there you go. So what did we just do? This is the torso. So connect and connect right there. That is your torso right there. Just giving it a little bit of movement, all right? Now, we're gonna do one leg first. Draw the hips right there to number four, and then now take this leg and bring it down just like that. Do you see what I just did? I drew a straight line that goes right to the floor right there. Now we're gonna draw our first leg. Draw the first one to the knee, connect, Draw the ankle and then your shoe, okay? Just like that. All right, so that's one leg. Now here is where we're gonna make your fashion croquis stick its leg out, kind of like, hey. All right, now watch, here's another Nick trick. Go down to the floor and measure two inches. Take your ruler and then mark right there. Now take this, draw a straight line. This is gonna be your other leg, just like that. Do you see that? Now, kind of like feel out how she's gonna stick her leg out. So then now draw your leg. So go out here to the hips and then connect. So we've got our knee right there and then go down here to the ankle. That's number eight, do you see that right there? And then now finally your shoe, okay? So now we've drawn the leg sticking out, giving it a little bit of dimension, all right? Do you see that? Now you can, if you want, draw the bust. Now we've got our arms. Now I'm gonna do the arms to go like that, to give you a real fashion pose. So watch, here's a trick. Go down to this line, go a little bit out, draw a little circle, connect. And that gives you, right there, that part of the arm. And then come down here and connect, and that gives you the rest of your arm, see? 
she's got it right there, giving it a little bit of that pose. Now, for the other arm, go down one and three quarter inches, a little bit out, just like that. Draw a circle, connect, then connect, and then now connect here. And now, she's got her other hand and her arm right there, giving you that pose. Got it? That's basically it right there. Maybe I'll add a little bit of hair, a little bun, all right, just to finish off our croquis, okay? Now, this is it. This is your basic fashion croquis. Now what you wanna do is take your Sharpie. Take your Sharpie and outline it. Why? Because then when you're gonna do your fashion, draw your fashion and use this as your paper doll, you can see it, okay? You can see through it. So take your Sharpie and outline it. Okay, I'm gonna start with the arms right here. One arm, then the other, okay? Do the hands right there, and then the torso, right there. Now the leg, giving a little bit of a curve. Do you see what I just did right there? So it's not so flat, just a little bit of a curve. You can use your ruler, just like I'm doing right now, all right, to guide you, okay? And go through the hips, this other leg, and then her foot, right there. Ooh, she looks fabulous. Do the shoulder, the neck, shoulder, and just outline, if you want, the head right there, and maybe her hair. <laughs> Little bun, okay? So we've outlined it. Now, here's the trick. This is how you can just do a flawless fashion sketch. Take a piece of paper, all right, put it on top, just like that, see? Now you can see through it. See how you can see through it? All right, so now, this is where you're gonna shock all your friends and your family, they're gonna be like, ooh, you a real designer, okay? Check this out. Now I'm gonna do um, a couture jumpsuit, okay? So let's see what I'm gonna do. And I'm gonna do the torso right here. Notice when I go to the waist, I slightly curve it right there. Then I'm gonna go here, right there, and I'm gonna do like a drape top, so. Right there, giving her a little bit of gather. Okay, so it's a little bit of movement now. Remember, you've got the arms right there, the hands, and she's giving you that pose. So you know what? I'm gonna give her big blouson sleeves, very fashionable. Notice when I'm going around right here, the wrist. See how I'm going around this movement? So it gives it a little more three dimension to it, okay? And then the other blouson sleeve right there. Give her a little neck, a little cleavage. Okay, now we've got the jumpsuit part, the pants. So go around, now this is a trick. This is how you don't make it flat. Go a little bit of a swerve right there. See, and then her heels. Another trick I'm gonna show you is, instead of the swerve, just go like a slight rounded shape around. See, think of it as you're going around. See, the clothing is going around. And that's how you give it a little more dimension to it. And then we've got that. Okay, I'm gonna draw the head here and give her the bun, kind of a J-Lo bun, right? <laughs> and then I like to do one eye right there, nose. Okay, and then maybe fabulous overskirt. Just like that, okay? And now if you want, you can add a little bit of details, like show a little more gathering on the sleeve, maybe on the top, here in the overskirt. That gives a little bit of dimension, a little more movement. Also, you can shade the inside of the overskirt, just like this, see? That really gives it more dimension, for sure. Or add little details, like in the face, you know, maybe an earring. Big hoop earrings. <laughs> she kind of looks like J-Lo. Kind of fabulous. <laughs> All right, there you go. So you created your very first fashion croquis and couture jumpsuit. Fabulous, courtesy of Nick Varios. Thanks for tuning in to Fashion School with Nick Varios. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share. And if you have any comments, questions, or 
or suggestions for future videos, leave them all below. And for more Nick tips and tricks, make sure to get my book, A Passion for Fashion. It's available on Amazon.com.